Charlie. I knock on the door. Total silence. I attempt to get in, but he's blocked it with something. Open the door, Charles. I'm not joking. I'll break the door. No, you won't. His voice is dead, empty, but I'm relieved because he's alive. I turn the handle down and push with my whole body. Don't come in! He sounds panicked, which makes me panicked because Charlie is never panicked, and that is what makes him Charlie. Don't come in here, please! There's a clattering of things being frantically moved around. I keep heaving my body onto the door, and whatever is blocking it begins to move away. I make a gap large enough for me to slip inside, and I do. No, go away! Leave me alone! I look at him. Get out! I remember finding Charlie in the bathroom that time. There was a lot more blood then.